Where am I? Where are the others? Everything is going as planned. <coughs> Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense, now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking! Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. You fucker! Let me... Let me go! You scum! Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. Since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you beast. myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But oh, I'll get you now! Burn this scum to ashes! So that not even the dirty walls Now we'll be full again! Good. <laughs> Artyom! Remains! Here. Colonel, sir, I think that's Thank enough. Thank you, son. But it is not. We have to get them. But first, we must find Anna! I'm sorry, I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot, start the main elevator off! Ready! Elevator on the move! ETA, one minute! minute. Yes, sir! Well done! We can hold up for that long!
Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! Your floor, Artyom!
Why did you shoot them? What the fuck? But there was meat. Meat, you see? Meat by the way! They'll eat everything we can't again. Get to the other one. All the tasty innards for all the meat. Well, well. Oh, 
my meat gone. It was here it in advance. Enemy? Why? Why is my meat gone? It was here in advance. Damn me! Ah! He's up there! Look! <laughs>
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just... Freeze! Yes, yes! Then Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex... Enough chatter! Are you alright, Artyom? Thank God! Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Oh, thank God. Well done, Artyom. Where do they go now? There's an elevator straight down the corridor. It goes right to the command center. Let's go. Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Silentius with his damned fanatics. <sighs> but no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. But the Russians were simply not there. Not to get it, not to grow radiation everywhere. Bastard! Thank God, Anna. I wouldn't ever forgive myself. I'm all right. Who could have known? Who knew these these creatures here <laughs> kept eating people for twenty years? Could you imagine that? I'm sorry. I got carried away like a greenhorn recruit. The minister was going to see me. Not see me, but I even saluted those ghouls. So fucking hard. These monsters have made me. Like the watchers in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground. Please. Alright, but what do we do now? Damned if I know Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? At the fence sites, HQs. All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <coughs> are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision together. Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have quit it like that. It all worked out. It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't? I've grown attached to him. That I understand.
like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. I think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war? They'll shoot the us government. on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. But <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then! <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. But what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. What the fuck, man? Artyom, a car! Oh, look, there's a woman there! Somehow, I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. The others are not so well either. Only us here are still in fighting shape. Thank you. 
Ada, you and the Mir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. Uh, I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sam, we'll get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? It might, but really slowly and not for too long. The engine is too weak for the weight and we, we don't have much diesel left. Well, if we had enough diesel, the Aurora wouldn't be needing any help. How so? Its firebox was originally designed for taking coal. Higher but tone. it also has high temperature lining and liquid fuel jets installed. All clear. So, how'd you find the premises, idiot? Looks like it used to house a ticket office and lockers. Full of garbage now. Could use some cleaning. Damn, the sun is having a ball today. Okay, set up the perimeter. You, get to the back of the train. Idiot, you get the engine. I'll clean the place up, then we'll bring Step on. It's cooler than in the train. Your word is law, my liege. Shall I commence now? <laughs> commence! Okay, I'll be off then. Alyosha's trying too hard. Is he overheating? Too much sun, perhaps? We're all overheating here. I'll relieve him once we get step on here. Yeah, we'll handle that. Well, I'm off too. Are you going out? Look here then. This is something I finished just now. Well, I hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Now, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly. With all this sand around. Do you see that building with the antenna? The car went that way. Be careful out there, though. We don't know what to expect from the locals.
Stay coming here. I surrender! Out? No? Come out then! 
<laughs> so, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame, they're so sad. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya! Sun's going all out today, huh? Read you loud and clear. Why were you off the air, Anna? Ah, so you had to fall back. Why did you approach them in <laughs> the first Artyom. place? Cut it out! Uh, I so forbid it to you try contact. the new ammo out. Should work great with all this oil air. around. I repeat, I figure the holy flame would be pretty happy alone. with them. Do you hmm? read me? <laughs> Reports at half hour intervals. Over and out. Artyom, we must help our contact at the lighthouse. Without the knowledge of this situation, we could get stuck. And this is a great chance to avoid that. So move out! Oh, hello there! So, have you found that bunker already? No! Well, that's a shame. Are we here for nothing Never after all? <laughs> What's your situation? Over. Artyom, thanks for coming by to see the guys. Finally! I said, finally, yes! How are you, Alyosha? Yes. How about taking a short break okay, in the shade? No, on. sir. No. I am on duty today. Wow. <laughs> Polishing your pronunciation is a waste of effort. You've nobody to try it on but me. What do you mean, nobody? 
I could certainly try it on the locals, or to be precise, the local ladies. They could be fond of tourists, huh? Don't forget to clean your guns regularly, with all the sand around. Your situation. You're definitely overheating. Me? Ha! I had to take a short stroll at night, and walking past the old man's compartment, I heard him mumbling. Yes. Okay, I see. Carry on. Miller, over. What was he saying? I said he was an old fool and that he should have known better than dragging his bones here. Said that had he just whipped Anna's and Artyom's asses back then, we'd all be chilling out in the metro. Why would he want to stay down there when the world is alive? We might even go to America eventually, since the war's over. How about pitching that idea to the Colonel? You know, Sam... You have things to do there, but the old man, he's only a colonel in the metro, really. There he controlled the order, enjoyed universal respect. But what would he do in America, huh? <sighs> yeah, you're right, I guess. But you should still take a 20. I'm a bit worried. I'll take a break once we're done. Hey, Artyom, found that bunker yet? Would be nice to find it soon. All right. <laughs> 